real true. Ay, ay, we're hump set. 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 Yo, what's up, everyone? This is VCV Sips, and this is my review of the video game Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition for the Switch. A few things I need to mention before going into this review is I never played the original Xenoblade Chronicles 1, but I have played Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torna, and X. Also for this review, I won't be covering any spoilers in the plot, I'll just be mentioning the basis of the beginning of the story to not spoil anything for you. And I'll also be covering Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected in another video to review. With all that out of the way, let's get into this. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition is a Wii game remaster and remade for the Switch which is a real-time action RPG that takes place on the backs of two giant beings, the Bionis and the Mechanis, that raged war for many, many years prior to the start of this game. Xenoblade Chronicles Fin Edition has many fun gameplay elements within the combat of this game, like the chain attacks, the ability to stun, poison, or break enemies while also being in battle to pull off combos in plenty ways and more. The basis of the story starts off about a boy named Shulk, who one night picks up the Monado after the Mechon attack Shulk's home and his village. And it's up to him, Ryan, Dunban, as well as Sharla, Melia, and Ricky to save the day. And uh, yes, it's Dunban, not Duncan, it's Dunban. Ugh. When it comes to the cast of characters, it is great to again be able to play as the entire cast, like how I experienced Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Torna. However, each character has their own aspects about them that can make them great to have around or maybe a pain, especially in and out of battle. I felt as individually the characters could be a bit lacking, but their chemistry together as a group was truly more than great. Outstanding to say the least. Get off me! Oh, to you! Right in the Take this bubble! Now it's right time! That's it. Uh. With these characters in your party, you can organize them any way you want, from the expansive list of equipment you can use to buff and stylize your character's weaponry, and even their appearance in and out of battle. Combined with the long list of materials needed for gems to help boost the equipment, gives a wide range of tinkering based on the playstyle that you want to use or prefer in the Definitive Edition. You can even make your characters look very, very, very pleasing to the eyes. Make sure while playing you collect the gems and equip them to your equipment to stack extra bonuses for battles such as poison defense, power to boost, recovery boost, ether buffs, and a wide variety of others to help in battle. The skill trees in this game though are not my preferred method across all the Xenoblade games honestly, but it is here, it's more simplified, but it's so simplified, it's kind of like Xenoblade 1 skill tree is like a building blocks version of the entire JRPG franchise, literally. <laughs> you literally have to place your blocks into the others, which is weird, but there are level ups for your arts like prior games, which is good, but as someone who never played with the original first Xenoblade on Wii, but has played Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torna, and X, and also as someone who has heard practically everyone say that Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii was one of the best JRPGs ever made, is a really high sell. It's almost as bad as trying to claim something in 2020 with almost nobody intends to be the best and greatest event ever. What I'm trying to get at is, I enjoyed my time in Xenoblade Chronicles Torna more than Definitive Edition, and I may even feel the same about Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I haven't been in X yet, I started playing it recently, but wow. The game looks visually and sounds incredible in comparison to Definitive Edition, and it was on the Wii U! The Wii U! Why does Definitive Edition look so goddamn ugly in comparison? What the fuck? <sighs> Damn. Uh, sorry, but I had to calm down for a second, but Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition does have good music, and there are some nice views at some points throughout the game, but why is it at 540p at best? on handheld and docked mode? Come on, it's 2020. Xenoblade Chronicles X is at fucking least at 720p on hardware from 2012. It is now halfway through 2020. What in the god dang fuck? <sighs> Damn, sorry. I just had to let that out. It was like a tiger being let out of its cage. Truce, man. Oh! 
Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition is a great game. It goes through the journey of a boy and his group of friends and misfits as they set off to stop the Metcon and stop the battling once and for all. The game was a pretty good experience overall, however technical limitations along with a lack of good pacing in the story and a treacherously awful community system compared to past and prior games to push the side quests really bogs the great experience down to a good one. I give Zimei Chronicles Definitive Edition a solid 8 out of 10. Now don't forget I will be reviewing Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected in a future video coming very soon in the near future. Deja vu, I said that so many times I know, but thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed my review, make sure you smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well and join our community either on Patreon or on YouTube to support the channel and to be part of our community. The 100% click for added benefits, tons of new content, exclusive sneak previews, giveaways, and more. Now, see you all next time, everyone. Peace.